Utah's history of heartbreak here in the Coliseum continues. The Utes lose to the USC Trojans 30 to 23. There were three major reasons why the Utes struggled in this game and came up short. First, red zone issues, specifically that fumble just before halftime. Had they scored right there, they'd go to halftime with the lead and have momentum. Instead, a crushing blow on offense. 16 penalties for 120 yards, and those penalties were drive-killing penalties. Utah hasn't had a problem with penalties so far this season. Boy, they sure did against USC. And the struggling pass defense carved up by a third-string quarterback. And what a night for Michael Pittman. Ten catches, 232 yards, and a 77-yard touchdown. We just came out and we weren't uh, and we weren't ready, man. Um, I, I feel like that we, this is what we practiced for, but uh, we, we came out a little slow and they just, they just kept on going. We just didn't do a good enough job on him, so we as coaches got to do a better job of of coaching it and uh, giving our players, uh, allowing them to be more equipped to, to deal with a receiving core like that. So we got to rethink some things uh, coaching wise. We don't lose when we rush the ball for 250 yards or close to it. We just don't don't lose, and we found a way to do that tonight. So we got a rebound, we come back next week, got Washington State coming in, very similar type of offense, and we got to have answers because tonight we didn't have good enough answers. We can't mess around anymore. You know, nobody, nobody in the South is going undefeated. So we got to just keep moving forward and get ready for next week. The Utes had lofty goals this year, and so losing the Pac-12 opener against the non-ranked team certainly hurts. But not all is lost. They still have a shot at the Rose Bowl. We'll see how the schedule pans out, but they got to get back on track and quickly. Next week, Mike Leach and Washington State come to Rice-Eccles Stadium on Saturday night, and that pass defense will be tested once again. At the Coliseum, I'm Jeremiah Jensen, Sportsbeat.